is amazing and I can't wait for you two to experience all the joy and happiness I've experienced in the first few months of my marriage. It's pure bliss. I've been waiting for the moment to arrive. I can't wait to see our families continue to grow. I've always wanted a big family and I think we are getting there. I'm so excited to see where the future takes us. I'm proud of both of you and I hope you know how special you are to me. Ethan Conrad, I love you so much and I can't believe that today is finally here. I have dreamed of this day since I was a little girl and I can't believe I'm about to be marrying the man of my dreams. You have taught me what it means to truly be in love. I've been praying for a man like you from a very young age, and, I, and who would have thought that I would be marrying you? You are my best friend and my knight in shining armor. From this day forward, I vow to always love you no matter what. Through thick or thin, I will always have your back. I'm so excited to be your wife and to do life with you. Now let's go out there and get married. I vow to always love you, Callie. I vow to always remind you of your strength and beauty. I vow to be your protector, to never let any harm come to you. I vow to always be by your side. I vow to never give up on you. I vow to be your best friend no matter what. I vow to do my best to give to you more than I take. I vow to be responsible in fulfilling your every need. I vow to be your confidant. I vow to help you run when you can't fly, walk when you can't run, crawl when you can't walk, and when you can't crawl, then I will carry you. I vow to always listen to you and hear you and not just respond. Most importantly, I vow to always love you, Callie. Where's 
much as Ethan and Callie have made this solemn covenant of marriage before God and all of us here, I declare them to be husband and wife. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But God is joined together, let no man be put aside. The grace of God attend you. The love of God is around you. The Holy Spirit is keep you. Ethan, you may now kiss your bride. My name is JD. I have the honor of being Ethan's best man. Time moves so fast. Callie is my little sister, and honestly, tonight feels a little bittersweet. Nobody wanted to be my friend. Uh, I just kind of hung out by myself. This weird little blonde kid come up to me, and then uh, he's like, hey, you want to come play with me and my friends? I was like, sure, why not? Ever since that day, me and him have been inseparable. It's so surreal to me that she is married and that I now have a brother two brothers. Ethan hit a rough patch. He just didn't seem like he was in the best place and it felt like a piece of him was missing. Callie has grown into the most beautiful person. She is kind to everyone she knows and she never meets a stranger. She deserves the absolute world and I'm glad she's found that. He met a girl named Callie and uh, it was like the switch was turned back on. Thank you Callie for bringing my best friend back. Ethan was and will always be my best friend. I may be his best man, but uh, he's the best man I know. Callie, if Ethan is half as good as a half as good of a husband as he is a best friend to me, um, you're getting the best husband in the world. I was waiting for the moment to arrive, waiting for the moment to arrive. I was waiting. Wouldn't miss it for the world.